Um, I just wanted to mention two things. But um, so the first thing, um, sometimes I can't tell whether or not it is a pure desire. Um, so, but then I find myself still not acting anyway because I'm just afraid of doing something wrong. Or, well, if if you're not, if you don't know whether it's a pure desire or not, then the fastest way to find out whether it is is to still act upon it, right, and then see what the law of attraction brings you. Yeah, I did that recently. Like yeah. my car just broke down, and, and then I decided oh, I'll borrow mum's, and so I'm borrowing mum's, and that feels really wrong. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. But and then so the other thing that I wanted to say was um, like I often just say I I know that there's stuff that's unloving within me, and I don't act upon it. But I still don't deal with the emotions, like, like as yes. why I have them. Yeah, so, it's a good question, Nirvana. Yeah. And and the reality is, many of us do this. Like, what what we do is we notice that yeah, something is wrong. We we see it in the facade. We see that something's wrong, but we don't have a diligent effort to resolve it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I put to you, if there is no diligent effort to resolve it, you're actually now in a worse place than if you didn't know about it in the first place. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, she says. <laughs> no, sarcastically. Yeah. Uh, no, there I was thinking that um, uh, I was in a better space because I was aware of what was going on. <laughs> But yeah, well, if you don't act upon it, you're in a worse place. Sure. The reason why you're in a worse place is because you now know the truth but have a refusal to do it. Yep. And this the refusal that we have obviously is based upon another emotion that we need to discover. Why do we have so much refusal? You see, you see, for many of us, we do this quite frequently where we know we have this. In fact, many of us now... For, for if you've also if you've been feeling for a while, many of you would be able to list a page of all the things you know are wrong with you, <laughs> from an emotional perspective or a belief system or so forth. You at least a page generally, and yet many of us do not have a diligent effort to solve each problem, mm. and we have huge investments in not solving our problems. We need to recognise that, and some of those investments are we like to hold on to the problem so somebody else has to solve it for us or bend around it because that means they love us. If, they, if we solved it, then they wouldn't love us as much. And there's all sorts of whipped and weird and warped ways that we think yeah. in order to hold on to emotions that we know we shouldn't be holding on to. Yeah, something that I've, uh, over the last few weeks, since my car broke down and stuff, um, I've realised that I had, I was in massive self-deception, which I already knew anyway, because my money stuff wasn't changing. Yeah. Um, but that I wanted everyone to feel sorry for me. And, um, and like, so I've still got that within me, but I had this big, like, <laughs> I just had this huge realisation. I was just jumping around and like, whoa! <laughs> like, I finally realised something to do with, like, the abundant stuff. Yep. Um, and now I forget where I was going with that. But, um, but you know when you had that really good feeling of you recognise it, yeah. now, straight away, this is where we have a choice to make. Yep. Now, many of us are still making a choice. We, reckon, we have this realisation, we recognise what the proper way of feeling about something would be if we were in harmony with love or truth. Yep. But then what we do is we fail to address the yeah. causal emotions and that that's where I'm at right retain now. that, yeah. yeah, to retain yep. that. It's, it's like I feel stuck as to where to go now because I, I still, still want to be in that space. Yep. So, yeah. Now, can I make a suggestion just before we go to a break? The suggestion, and this is a pretty important suggestion actually, is to focus firstly, if you, if you notice you're in your facade on any issue related to God. So, so any issue related to God... Put that as your highest priority in your life to deal with. Higher than work, higher than eating, higher than everything, right? Put it as your highest priority to deal with. Higher than your relationship, higher than your partnership, whatever. Any injury that you have, that you notice you have with God, is going to have a severe impact upon your life. And so therefore it makes sense to address those issues first 
in your life and as rapidly as you possibly can. The second thing is to deal with the issues related to your own soul next. This includes the issues related to your soul mate. In other words, treat your relationship as the next highest priority in your life in terms of issues to resolve and focus on the resolution of those particular issues next. Now, you can do this concurrently many times because your law of attraction will be bringing you many events that show you what's going on. But if you spend the majority of your time focusing on those particular issues, you will find you'll make great inroads into your soul's true nature and therefore your law of attraction will have the greatest potential to change. If you deal with all other matters first, because those two matters are too hard to address, then what you're going to find is you'll have a slower law of attraction change and you'll find your life less joyful for a longer period of time. Now that to me doesn't make much sense. It makes sense to focus on the things that are going to bring me the most joy first and then to focus on the things that bring me less joy after that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's still on. Um, something I've been struggling with is, uh, and I was praying a bit about, um, about maybe a few weeks ago, was actually how to put God first. Um, and then it sort of came to me anyway, just with different talks that I was listening to, but also how to put, like, my relationship first as well. Um, it's really like, easy to measure whether you're doing it. Yep. What you do is you add up all the time that you spend doing each thing. And that tells you what your real priorities are. Yep. All right? So if most of your time in the week is spent in developing your relationship with God, then you know you've got your priorities right. If the second thing that's got most of your time is your soul and your soul mate, then you know you've got your priorities right. But for the majority of us, it doesn't work out that way, hey? Yeah, no, my, my week is not like that. No, we, <laughs> you, we finish up going, well, yeah, if I added up the amount of time that I actually prayed or talked to God or wanted to learn something about God this week, it might end up to be 15 minutes of the whole week, you know? And because my priority system is out of whack, of course, I'm not going to change very rapidly and therefore I'm not going to enjoy myself very rapidly either. Yeah, and also something that I um, have problems with is, um, like when you say, so the priority is to so God first, yep. and then is it my soul, meaning to say me and Justin? Yep. Um, so I just struggle with putting like, uh, sort of doing that at the same time. <laughs> oh, it's know. very, very hard. Yeah. To be frank, um, it's very, very difficult to do that. I'm still learning to do that oh, okay. myself in terms of our relationship and putting God first and then our relationship next. I don't have any problem with what comes after that. So my, my main problem at this point in time is the competing aspects of my relationship with God and my relationship with my soul, mate. Yeah. But, but I don't have anything else competing now, for the majority of us, we do have lots of other things competing and we need to address that if we're really going to progress rapidly. So, so my suggestion is there is always going to be a difficulty here because, because the things you learn in your relationship, you're also sort of learning with God, right? Because yeah. God has feminine aspects, God has masculine aspects, you're going to have different issues with masculine and feminine aspects and if you've attracted your soulmate into your life, then... then obviously you, you're in a space where you want to deal with that. Many of you are not attracting your soulmate into your life because you do not want to actually put this as your second priority. Does that make sense? You want other things to be your second priority and that's why you haven't attracted your soulmate. And that's okay, but understand that that's what's going on. Many of you are also justifying not attracting your soulmate by going, Oh, he doesn't want to be with me. Well, I'd put to you that uh, anybody in their right mind might not want to be with you. <laughs> Shall I say that again? I know it sounds, <laughs> sounds a bit much. 
but anyone in their right mind may not want to be with you. Have you looked at that? Yeah. Right? And when you say, have you looked at that, have you really looked at that or have you just in your facade with it because you don't really want to deal with it? Now, I feel that a lot of you are making arrangements, for example, to not be with your soulmate. You make purposely making arrangements to not be with your soulmate. Personal arrangements like where you live, how you live, with whom you live, what you do in your day to day life. You, you're personally making those arrangements to not be with your soulmate. And I put to you that at the same time saying, I want to be with my soulmate is a facade. The real, the, the damaged self is going, I don't want to be with my soulmate. Feel that. Feel that you don't want to be with them. Why? You don't want them or you only want them under certain circumstances. Why? Or you only want yourself under certain circumstances. Why? Or you want your soulmate so that your soulmate will tell you what you can do because you've got no idea what to do yourself. Why? Look at those issues right? and address those particular issues. But if you put priority number one, God, probably number two, soul, you will find you will progress much more rapidly than if you put anything else as your priority in terms of dealing with. Right. Cool, yeah. thank you. Now, it's